good at war. That's no secret. What is kind of a secret is that since we're so much better at war than any other country on the planet right now, we're actually quietly training everyone else's armies so that they can fight and kill each other more effectively. We do this all over the planet. And when army officials talk about it, they often do it only on the condition of anonymity. Because I guess we don't like everyone knowing just how much we love to train their armies. The US has something called Africa Command, for instance, which is a unit based in Germany. African nations largely don't want US troops all over their countries. So what we do is, we send in small teams with military expertise to train local armies. We just sent about 50 special ops with a helicopter over to Tunisia to train their troops. The US soldiers are stationed far out into the desert so that locals don't have to see them as we train their military. All told, we've got about 5,000 troops over 38 African countries, many of them quietly training Africans in the art of armed combat. The U.S. just quietly sent a number of special forces to train Iraqis in Jordan. According to an anonymous defense official, we're bolstering their counterterrorism skills and special ops tactics. And the mission goes hand in hand with a whole new batch of weapons we just sold to Iraq. The U.S. can't conduct military activities in Iraq right now without a special formal agreement since our invasion of them is supposedly over. So that's why we're training their troops in Jordan. Not only are we good at training soldiers, we're good at getting around rules in place to keep us away. We just sent some Blackhawks and military personnel down to Trinidad and Tobago to help train their armies. Just spent a week training Armenians how to fight in Armenia, of course. Oh, and we just sent some military over to Poland to train their forces there. We are the best at sending our military abroad to train foreign militaries, nice and quietly so no one notices. And we do it so much. According to the New York Times, American officials and their partners even have a name for it, enabling. As in, we enable other international forces to kill each other as effectively as we kill people all on their own. Such a perfect term for it. So the next time you see another country killing others very effectively and wonder, wow, what's their secret? Chances are, it's American training. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.